For today's little experiment, I tried creating my own floggers. Uh, turns out they're incredibly simple to make. Uh, they don't really take that many tools and I really like them and I haven't really found anything better from the shops in here. So uh, these are the steps if you want to try it yourself. I am out at my parents' place for Christmas and there is an abundance of raw materials and tools and so on and a little bit work. So we're gonna try to make a little something in here. It's really freaking cold. <laughs> this is something I've never used before, so let's figure out how the fuck this actually works. I'm gonna try to use it a bit of a way that it's not exactly supposed to be used. I'll take this rectangular piece of wood on an angle a couple of times. So the holidays were a while ago, and at this point I'm thinking of making a third version as well. So for that I have uh, this piece of wood that I had as a leftover from a table project. For the cutting you can use whatever tools you have in hand. A handsaw will work just as fine as an electrical little thingy. So for a bit more variation the third handle is going to be a bit more uh, rectangular. I still want the edges smooth, so uh, I think the only tool I have for that is just the sander. So I'll try that. For the leather you want something uh, thick. I think this is around three millimeters or so. I got mine at a uh, nice little discount in the leather shop. Uh, you can probably find some online or try to find a shop yourself. For the really experimental idea I am gonna try to use this um, holographic plastic. Uh, I have no idea if that will work. I think it's a little bit too light so uh, I have to do a few layers of it and don't know if it would hurt too much or make some guts, but I'll try, I'll see. It's good to put something underneath as a base. I'm using some plexiglass. Uh, you can easily use wood or whatever else. So uh, look out for damage in leather and pick a part that's uh, totally usable. I think I'm gonna try to make like two rounds of black. I'm gonna try also to mix it together with some red underneath for some accent color. So leather is a little bit more stretchy in one direction than it is in the other. You want to cut along the side that is less stretchy, so when you pull it, it doesn't give as much. For cutting, you can just use a normal box cutter. So make sure that the blade is sharp. For the width, you want to measure your uh, handle, or I think I'm gonna make two rounds. So that's gonna be about 22 centimeters. When you start cutting the folds, uh, you have to figure out how much of the top you want to save so you can attach it to the handle. For me, I think I will go with uh, around six centimeters or seven. Once you have figured that out, you will set that seven centimeters from the edge. So I think I'm gonna try to attach this somehow. Maybe. For the thickness, I'm going to go with, I think, one and a half centimeters. Cool. Seems that it's important that you press hard on the ruler, otherwise the leather might move around. With the second layer, I want to leave 
one centimeter strip on the top, so I'm gonna make it one centimeter longer. <clears throat> From the first one, I learned that if you put uh, measurements on top of the leather, you have to like pick every single one of them off afterwards, so this is much better. So to add some variation, I think I'm gonna make these ones a little bit wider than the top layer. So I'd say two centimeters. So, seems like making these equal parts is not exactly good, so I'm gonna cut one of these off. For the gluing bits, I'm using contact cement. For the handle, if you have uh, oiled it before, it's good to uh, sand it first, so it sticks better to the glue. You apply as long of a strip as you made it before, so now I'm gonna add a 7 cm strip in here as well. To put it together. Then apply glue to the other side as well. After we let it dry for a couple of minutes, we can try to put the handle on. So perhaps like this. So I'll just apply it more in there and then a conservative amount on this side. It off. I have this little. Well, looking at it, I think the nicest options would be like so if that's the end, then let's say one centimeter from here, a let's say a centimeter or a half from there, and a middle point. Drill some guide holes in there. the handle in here I want to do a little bit of a loop and I want to have the same kind of a red accent so for that I think I'm gonna use about four centimeters or so I'd say maybe I had a strip like that. I think I want it to go directly against the wood, so I'm gonna cut a piece out from the center of this guy. So for this, this will be fine, and on the other side. Oh well. In the meantime, since the top was uh, four centimeters, I'm gonna do this three and a half. Good with two? Yeah. Like seven mils. So the first step is just to cut it in half. And the thing is that you don't really need all the tools that I'm using. Uh, these just make your workflow faster. But you can just still do it the same with the usual stuff. I'm trying to curl up a lot. I'm just gonna try and if this has any kind of an effect. And it seems like it did. I think as with the last one, I want to make two different sizes. And in this case, yeah, I'll do the same. One and a half and two. And for the top, I think I'm gonna do it around this much. It's about four centimeters, or let's make it five. And let's do it on this end. 
And out of laziness, I'm just gonna tape this. And then we'll put this guy back. I'm trying to align the cuts in here so they're not on top of each other, which is a little bit hard since, yeah, I should have done some mathematics beforehand. But anyways, I think that's gonna be my fit. And since I don't know how it actually reacts with the glue, uh, I will try that before. If it looks too ugly, uh, perhaps we'll not use it. Uh, looks like it doesn't really do much. A little bit ugly. I'm starting to regret it. Oh, I'm definitely starting to regret it. You know what? Fuck it. Don't use glue with holographic. To be honest, I don't think the glue would have really worked anyways. Uh, the surface is too slippery. And then I will just roll the damn thing together. A lot of pressure in here, so it's nice and smooth. So I think it's gonna be one centimeter. It looks kind of reasonable. This is so not precise at all. And this time around I will use a smaller hammer so it perhaps will go in a bit easier. So for the back we want, let's say, that much. With this kind of material, a couple of things to keep in mind. First of all, the plastic will kind of keep its shape. So if you just throw it down like this for a day, when you pick it up, it's gonna hold the shape a little bit weird. It's better to just leave it hanging and that way uh, it keeps the shape like that. Also, it's a little bit fragile. So I managed to sit on it accidentally and it basically kind of ripped this, I don't know if you can see it, it basically ripped the cut up a little bit. Uh, I think it would work better if there were uh, thinner strips in terms of uh, longevity, but if you take care of it well, I think that will be fine. It also can get full of dust and fingerprints pretty easily, so you should be cleaning it quite a bit. But it works really well. Uh, I thought it would be really, really uh, kind of sharp with the edges and doing a lot of damage to the skin, but actually no. Yeah, if you, you should go light with it, you can't really go full out. It uh, has a good feel to it, so it's nice and tingly. It leaves some bruising that kind of disappears in 15 or 30 minutes but yeah if you're careful with it it's pretty nice this multicolor one is my favorite uh, the material is really nice and heavy and it has a good feel to it and the weight came out really nice works really well feels really good and yeah it's uh really really nice As for this guy, it is freaking huge and it takes a lot of room to operate. Uh, can be fun. I think the leather ended up a little bit too thin and flimsy. Uh, would have liked something heavier and thicker, uh, but yeah. So thank you for watching and I really hope you enjoyed it.